Hi, I'm Dan West. I'm an entomologist here at the Colorado State Forest Service. And today we're going to talk a little bit about ash trees and the symptoms that emerald ash borer can express. Emerald ash borer first was detected in the city of Boulder in 2013. It's killed millions of trees in the northeast and in, in the lake states. And without treatment, if your tree becomes infested, it will die from emerald ash borer. Ash trees in Colorado may look unhealthy because of our arid, dry climate here. Just because your tree looks unhealthy doesn't necessarily mean that you have emerald ash borer. Let's look at a tree that has symptoms similar to emerald ash borer. Symptoms include thinning of the leaves in the tree crown. They could have cracks in the bark that run along with the branches. They could have sprouts that start from the trunk or arise from larger branches within the crown. Or they also could have increased woodpecker activity. Symptoms of trees that have EAB include D-shaped exit holes that are approximately an eighth of an inch across or wide. And they also have bark splits or S-shaped galleries that are underneath those bark splits. Well, it's important to remember that emerald ash borer can infest a tree for up to four years before symptoms start to show. Other insects that infest ash include the flat-headed apple tree borer, the lilac ash borer, two different species of round-headed wood borers, and small bark beetles. Holes produced from lilac ash borer are approximately a quarter of an inch across and more oval in shape. Holes produced from the flat-headed apple tree borer may be more D-shaped in size, but also might be oval in shape, much larger than those produced from emerald ash borer. Holes from ash bark beetles are approximately 1 16th of an inch across, quite small, about the size of a pinhead. It is important to measure the size of those holes in order to determine whether or not you have emerald ash borer. The two round-headed wood borers that are found in Colorado that infest ash also have exit holes that are round or oval in shape, and they're also about a quarter of an inch across. The galleries that are produced under the bark from all of these other insects that infest ash are all different in shape, and they are not S-shaped, which is indicative of only the galleries that are produced by emerald ash borer. In order to determine whether or not the exit hole that you found on your tree is more oval in shape or more D-shaped, you can take a sharp knife and shave away small slivers of the bark to determine whether or not the oval stays oval or whether or not it produces more of a D-shape. The same goes for a D-shaped hole as you shave away layers of the bark, you can see that it retains its D-shape. So to recap, your tree might have emerald ash borer if you see thin leaves at the top where the crown has thinned out, you see individual branch dieback, you see bark splits on some of the branches, or if you see shoots arising from the main portion of the trunk or from the larger branches of the tree, or if you see increased woodpecker activity. You can definitely determine if you have emerald ash borer if you have D-shaped exit holes and if you have bark splits accompanied with S-shaped galleries under that bark split or if you just have S-shaped galleries that are uh, showing on the bark. If you think that you have these symptoms from emerald ash borer, you can contact the Colorado State Forest Service via their webpage or you can also contact the Colorado Department of Agriculture. They have a dedicated hotline number and a website that you can go to so that we can document these detections throughout the state of Colorado. Another way to determine if you have emerald ash borer in your tree is through branch peeling. However, branch peeling is intensive and it should be done by a professional forester or a certified arborist. For more information about emerald ash borer, you can visit the Colorado State Forest Service website or you can visit eabcolorado.com.